trade us from across the globe and welcome to the 1,285th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar and that would be me, Oscar Carboni. Good evening traders. This video, again, the 1,285th installment of these educational videos, and they are educational if you're looking to learn the art of technical analysis. Go back and watch the other 1,284, and I'll bet you'll learn a lot about how these markets operate. So, traders, this video is coming to you on Tuesday Night for Trading, Wednesday, Feb 18th, 2015. Remember, futures trading is absolutely, unequivocally very dangerous, can cost you all the money you ever dreamed of having, and put you in debt for the rest of your life. Make sure you do not trade this game unless you know what you're doing, you've got risk capital, and you put your stops in. You should never, ever trade without stops. A stop can absolutely be your best friend in this business. Stops, they say, sometimes don't work, but that's maybe during a flash crash. 99% of the times, in my opinion, I have seen stops always take you out of the game when needed. Put your stops in. All right, so now that that's out of the way and I've scared the crap out of you, which I hope I've done, let's talk about the things that could go right. Traders, on the board, we've got a green Omni, baby, rock and roll. It is just looking fantastic. And you know what? I have got to take... I've got to take a bow here. <laughs> I know I'm being a little bit overzealous, if you want to call it that, but what Omni has provided for us lately, I mean, oh my goodness, and the gold in all the markets that it's been calling. Wow, I mean, head down, nose to the grindstone, on to the next trade. We know we're as good as our last trade, but go, Omni, go. You have been really keeping us in tune. Let's hope it stays that way. All right, so... What's on the board? I offered some form of a watch list, if you will, in last night's video. It was a short watch list. We put the dollar index on that watch list for the possibility of a trading turn and maybe the downside. I'd like for you to add something to the watch list, a couple of things. I want you to start to add, or don't start, I want you to add T-bonds and the 10-year notes to your watch list of markets that could possibly start to change direction and head towards the downside. The ZBH15, the ZNH15, add that to the EDXH15, dollar index, 30-year bonds, 10-year notes. That is our new watch list for possibilities of a market trend change, okay? We'll take these one day at a time. You have not heard me talk about bonds in quite some time, traders. Pay attention if you've got me talking about bonds. What you may not know is I spent many, many, many years trading bonds of my career, and only until about 2008-9 did I get knocked out of the bond market, being that it just got so big, too big for a little guy like me and my little Omniax, and we haven't really been able to trade bonds in several years. A couple of attempts here and there, and honestly, they all went to the wayside. You can't seem to call the top in bonds, and I am not doing that here, but I am telling you a trend change looks like it's coming our way. Keep an eye on bonds, keep an eye on dollars, keep an eye on 10-year notes. The trend change has nothing to do with the E-mini S&P. That is still looking pretty solid. So that's what this is about, and this and this. Then you've got Omni is still on that golden hunt, and I mean, come on with the gold trade. Omni thinks gold still goes down lower. I've got charts to show you that gold should still go down lower. And then in last night's video, I showed you the possibility of this bear flag. Well, let me do it a different way. On the, go on the dollar index, I showed you the possibility the market was coming down a little bit and then it started to do this. And I said, you know what? I think you got a little bear flag building in the dollar index. And if that's the case, it goes lower. I will show you last night's chart and tonight's chart so that you can see for yourselves if you think we're actually building a bear flag in the dollar. And that would make the rest of this scenario come into play. So traders, we've got a lot of good charts to show you. I'm going to show you them in just a moment. I have an Omni Camp planned for the summer. It is planned for June, June 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. 
OmniCamp is a four-day session held live in Las Vegas where I teach you how to come up with Oscar's Market Navigational Indicator Analysis for yourselves. And hopefully I can teach a handful of you how to fish for yourselves. And God forbid I decide not to do this any longer. I cut out and disappear. You can still feed your children. That's what the OmniCamp is for. I kid you not, I only hold it for five people. I only hold a couple of them a year. If you'd like to be one of those five people coming to this June's OmniCamp, come to LiveWithOscar.com, fill out your OmniCamp application, and I'll be more than happy to contact you. Traders, before we get into the charts, I want to, I want to say something. A friend of mine, Marco Soros, a shout out to Marco from Facebook. Marco, Marco, Marco sends me a message and he says, Oscar, I'm really sorry to even ask this of you on Facebook. Very respectful, Marco, thank you. But is this an F flag in the DAX? And I saw it on my phone and he sent me a <coughs> candlestick chart. So, you know, my eyes were flickering and I was going into convulsions. But I deciphered the candlestick chart that he showed me. And I said, you know, I don't think you're right. I don't think that's an F flag. But then I went home, instead of looking on my phone, I pulled up my brand of chart and open high, low, close, and I looked at it again, and Marco, great eye, absolutely an F flag in the DAX, your call, nice call, well done Marco, shout out to you. Traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Okay traders, the first chart this evening is the E-mini S&P daily bar chart. And you know, the days of old, let's, you know, we're past that triple top thing. We thought it was going to stall a little bit and go up, and it did all of that. So we're past the triple top old news. It since has morphed into a nice F flag, an Oscarism, if you will, the F flag. And this, if you ask me, is a pretty well-defined one. S&P is in it and running higher. And what's wrong with it running a bit longer? Nothing, if you ask me. We just took out previous highs of 2088. That was this red line this red line here. Now we're all the way up here compared to the red line, so we've taken out those previous highs inside of an F flag, and I think that looks pretty good for now, at least for trading on Wednesday. Then you've got the German DAX. Once again, Marco, nice call. When I use a sensible type chart and open high, low, close, that looks like a bull flag and or an F flag Almost a tilted bull flag, but we'll call it an F flag because that is what it is. So another Oscarism F flag on the German DAX. That is bullish, by the way, if you don't know. An Oscarism, an F flag, is something I've qualified over the last five years. It's a new sort of formation that's been happening over the last few years. I spent many years qualifying what it is, and the reason why it is an F flag, not only does it resemble an F, obviously, but I have noticed at the end of an F flag's life, all of us get F'd. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go any further than that, but we get F'd by the F flag at the end of its life, meaning at some point you get a massive drop out of it, and then it turns back around. Maybe, we won't talk about that now, but... The F flag is named for what you'd expect to get out of it when all is said and done. For now, the F flag looks fantastic in the German DAX. Then, the NASDAQ, we go out to a weekly chart. You have been watching or seeing this chart in video after video for, I don't know, six, seven, eight, nine videos now. And we've gotten everything out of it we expected and more, and we think we're going much higher. This would represent previous highs of 43, 45. We've gotten above them, and the market looks solid for going up on Wednesday. Then, of course, the dollar index. The flag I showed you last night and said, is it a flag? Well, let's look at it this way. We've fallen out of this nice long channel and are building something that could look like a flag to me, the type of flags that dollars build, in other words, this was a little teeny bull flag before the breakout. Why not have this be a little teeny bear flag? So this was the chart I showed you last night. And this is what's happened so far. Once again, this was the possible flag I showed you last night. And then this is what's happened so far. And if you ask me, that is a flag that's building. You even got down a little bit. So bravo so far, so far, so far. We're not completely out of the woods because it's not fully done, but that looks like it could be a flag that wants to give some downside. 
Then you've got the gall traders. Remember this wonderful chart and how many times I showed it to you and how many bashers I, I had to fend off when I said you would get the repeating pattern like here and here and here and we're here and I expect this and everyone thought gold was going to the moon and that is what it looked like when I gave this to you and so far this is where we are now. That is what it looked like, and this is where we are now. I mean, come on, baby. Repetitive patterns are what we live by. Traders, this has given us one, two, three and a half weeks of downside since calling it up here, calling for the downside, and Omniacs have, have done quite well in their gold trades. So thank you, Omni, so far for pointing out this gold to us. We do know... Head down, nose to the grindstone, we're only as good as our last trade. But so far, so good in the gold, and I'd expect it to go even lower as the weeks go on. Traders, pull your own charts, do your own analysis, never accept anyone's opinion without doing your own homework, and remember, we live by repetitive patterns. So, traders, you've seen the charts, you see my reasoning why we've got the green omni, why we expect the possibility of the dollar to continue lower. If that's a flag that it's building, it probably will go lower. And remember to add T-bonds and 10-year notes to your possible downside or direction change watch list. And we'll watch that every day and we'll talk about it. Traders, interesting. How many of you haven't yet picked up on something that you should be scratching your head going, Oscar, wh what's wrong with this picture? And what I'm getting at is, I'm telling you that we're expecting more downside in gold and the possibility of dollar downside. Does that make sense to you? Oscar, how could you call dollar going down and gold going down at the same time? Well, what I want you to recognize is this. Gold is a pure speculative market. It is a spec market. It is no longer tied to our economy. It is in mentality. It's an older mentality. Since the 70s, they have disconnected gold from our economy. And the only time gold ever even gets involved anymore is during the possibility of a crash like we've seen in 2008. And because we haven't seen one of that magnitude since 1929 before it, I don't think we're seeing another one for quite some time. That tells you, and if it doesn't, it should, that gold can absolutely positively continue to go lower, even if dollars go lower. Maybe gold will rally a little and then dump, or rally a little and then dump. But overall, there is no reason to be long gold. There is no reason to be long gold if you're thinking about the economy. Even if it was connected the way our economy is going, you'd rather not be long gold. But the fact that most people don't recognize that the only people left out there that think the gold is connected to the economy are, from what I've seen, church organizations, basically, and gold bugs, because almost everyone else has come to recognize that gold is like silver now. It is a spec market. We don't price dollars in gold. There's almost no country on the planet left that uses gold to back their dollars or their currency. Gold is a spec market. Can it go down when the dollar goes down? It did today. Why can't it do it for the rest of the week or the rest of the month or the rest of the year? Nothing goes straight down. I'm not afraid if dollars go down that gold will go up because I think dollars and gold can still go down together. We'll play it one day at a time. So traders, that's something I wanted to share with you before we get out of here. One last thing, what are you giving up for Lent? Today's Fat Tuesday, tomorrow is Ash Wednesday. For some of you traders who understand that, what are you giving up for Lent? What are you giving up? McDonald's. McDonald's? What are you giving up? School. Oh, you can't give up school for Lent. Get out of here. You gotta give up something else. You got anything else in mind? No, no. Nothing. No. I am giving up calling losing Omni trades for Lent. That's it. I'm giving up losing Omni trades. There can't be a bad one called for the next 40 days. Thank you, God. See how this works? I tie it all into trading, baby. So now that we don't have to worry about losing trades for the next 40 days because of God and Lent, Watch out, baby! Bet the farm on the next trade! <laughs> Just kidding. Don't do that. All right, so, traders, if you like these wacky videos and if you find the analysis in here useful, 
Come on down to LiveWithOscar.com. Make sure you join me in my free trading room. And if you don't have time to be in the trading room and you want to see these videos or get notified, subscribe to YouTube, youtube.com forward slash futures analysts. If you've subscribed to my YouTube channel there, you'll get notified by YouTube each and every time I put out a video with an email just like that. Traders, I need to get out of here now. Remember, these are very, very tricky markets, very, very volatile markets. Do not trade without stops and try to keep your emotions out of this game. One of the things I tell my Omniacs to say to themselves over and over again to keep their emotions at bay, if that's even a possibility, is to say this to themselves over and over again, and you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Rock and roll traders. I'll see you all at livewithoscar.com. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.